On December 23, 2015, an unprecedented cyber attack left 225,000 Ukrainians without power. Using privileged access, targeted attackers shut down power systems, corrupted ICS systems in both the control room and field, and wiped endpoints and servers throughout the IT environment. Residents were in the dark, and power companies had little ability to quickly restore electricity. This short video outlines how this attack happened. First, a spear phishing campaign targeted system administrators at local utility companies. The attackers posed as legitimate vendors and government employees and tricked the victims into opening malicious attachments. With this initial foothold, attackers were able to establish persistent remote access to the victim's workstation. They installed a piece of malware named Kill Disk. At the attacker's command, this malware could overwrite most files and render the infected system unbootable. Next, they guessed and stole credentials until they were able to capture an admin credential. Using compromised administrative access, the attackers laterally moved through the IT environment, dropping the kill disk malware and establishing back doors along the way. They then captured VPN credentials that provided remote access into control room systems. With this access, they simply watched and learned for weeks. Once they fully understood the systems and were ready, the attackers executed a highly coordinated plan. They took complete control of the control room systems, opened breakers, disabled backup power supplies, applied firmware updates to substations to disable communications, activated the kill disk malware throughout the IT environment, and launched a telephone denial of service attack to prevent customers from reporting outages. Ultimately, power was out across much of western Ukraine, and system operators were left with no ability to take back control of their machines and stop the attack. After this attack, the FBI and ICS CERT released key recommendations to help organizations mitigate similar risks. Here are some of those recommendations. First, it's critical to segment off ICS systems and establish tightly controlled access to that environment. All privileged and ICS credentials should be proactively secured. Administrative passwords should be rotated after each use. Organizations should monitor all privileged user and account activity to detect anomalies, particularly those that indicate compromised accounts. Lastly, consider implementing application control to reduce the risk of malware-based attacks. If the victim companies had these controls in place, they likely could have blocked the attackers earlier in the attack cycle and prevented both the blackout and the costly system damage. Mm -hmm.